on uh, 46. In the beginning, when Latin. God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept yeah. over the face of the waters. Then we God the said, let we there be the light, yes, and it. there was oh light. My God. I fucking heard. Oh, and oh, God saw I that the light was good, and God separated the light from the we darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. And God said, let there be a dome in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. So God made the dome and separated the waters that were under the dome from the waters that were above the dome, and it was so. God called the dome sky, and there was evening and there was morning, the second day. And God said, let the waters under the sky be gathered into one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the waters that were gathered together he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God oh, said, Let the, the earth right put now. forth vegetation, plants oh, yielding seed, and fruit trees of every kind on earth that bear fruit with the seed in it. And it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed of every kind, and trees of every kind bearing fruit with the seed in it. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning the third day. And God said, okay, let there um, be lights in the dome of the sky to separate yeah. the day from the night, and let there be for signs and for seasons and for days and years, and let them be lights in the dome Whoa, of the sky to that, give light upon the earth. And it was so. Okay. Watch, watch God the made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night, and the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to give light so upon the earth. I am to rule over the day and over the night, I am and to separate the light from the darkness. Supply, the so and God saw that it was good. No first and there was evening, and there was morning, uh, we're back to the, the fourth day. day. Have, and God said, the Let the waters bring forth swarms uh, of living creatures, and let birds fly oh, above oh, the oh, earth oh, across oh, the dome of the sky. Oh, so God created the great sea monsters and every living creature that moves, of every kind with which the waters swam, yeah, uh, and every winged bird of every kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful, and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let birds multiply on the earth. And there was evening, and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind, cattle and creeping things, and wild animals of the earth of every kind. And it was so. I don't know if God made the wild animals of the earth of every kind, and the cattle of every kind, and everything that creeps upon the ground of every kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make humankind in our image, according to our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the wild animals of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. Fuck. So God created yeah, humankind in his image, and his in the image of God he created them, um, I, male I, I and female he created them. Yes, you need to. Have God blessed them, and God said to them, yeah. Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds yeah, of the I, air, I need, I need and over every room. living thing that moves upon the earth. So bad. God said, See, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree with seed in its fruit, you shall have them for food. And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps upon the earth, everything that has the breath of life, I have given every green plant for food. And it was so. God saw everything that he had made, and indeed, uh, it was very really good. And there was evening, and yeah, there was morning, oh shit, there the sixth are day. On near this Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all their multitude. Um, okay. And oh, on the I seventh day God finished the work he, that he had done, and I he rested really on the seventh control. day from all the work that he had done. So God blessed the seventh day and hallowed it, because on it God rested from all the work that he had done in creation. 
These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created. In the day that the Lord God made the heavens and the earth. When no plant of the field was yet in the earth, and no herb of the field had yet sprung up. For the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was no one to till the ground. But a stream would rise from the earth, and water the whole face of the ground. Then the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And the man became a living being. Are they all? And the Lord God planted a garden in Eden in the east, and there he put the man whom he had formed. Out of the ground, the Lord God made to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. A river flows out of Eden to water the garden, and from there it divides and becomes four branches. The name of the first is Paishan. It is the one that flows around the whole land of Havila, where there is gold. And the gold of that land is good. Bedellium and onyx stones are there. The name of the second river is Gion. It is the one that flows around the whole land of Kush. The name of the third river is Tigris, which flows east of Assyria. And the fourth river is the Euphrates. And the Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to till it and keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, You may freely eat of every tree of the garden, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat, for in the day that you eat it you shall die. Then the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper as his partner. So out of the ground, the Lord God formed every animal of the field and every bird of the air and brought them to the man to see what he would call them. And whatever the man called every living creature, that was its name. The man gave names to all cattle and to birds of the air and to every animal of the field. But for the man, there was not found a helper as his partner. So the Lord God I'm caused really a deep sleep to fall upon the man, uh, have, and he slept. Damage, then so he took one damage. of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. And the rib that the death. Lord God had taken from the man, he made into a woman, and it brought her to the man. Yeah. Then the man said, I, the This at last is like bone of my bones and, and flesh of my flesh. I have no this one shall be called woman, for out of man this one was taken. Okay. Therefore, a man leaves his father yeah, and his true. mother and clings to his <laughs> wife, and they become one flesh. And the man and his wife were both naked and were not ashamed. Now the serpent was more crafty than any other wild animal that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God say, You shall not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. But God said, You shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the middle of the garden, nor shall you touch it, or you shall die. But the serpent said to the woman, You will not die. For God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was a delight to the eye, and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate. And she also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both were opened, and they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together, and made loincloths for themselves. They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden, at of the time of the evening breeze. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man, and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. He said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman who you gave to me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent tricked me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you among all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. 
I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. To the woman he said, I shall greatly increase your pangs in childbearing. In pain you shall bring forth children, yet your desire shall be for your husband, and he shall rule over you. And to the man he said, Because you have listened to the voice of your wife, and have eaten of the tree about which I commanded you, you shall not eat it. Cursed is the ground because of you. In toil you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for you, and you shall eat all the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face you shall eat bread until you return to the ground, for out of it you are taken. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. The man named his wife Eve, because she was the mother of all living. And the Lord God made garments of skins for the man and for his wife, and clothed them. Then the Lord God said, See, the man has become like one of us, knowing good and evil. And now he might reach out his hand, and take also from the tree of life, and eat, and life forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the Garden of Eden, to till the ground from which he was taken. He drove the man, and at the east of the Garden of Eden he placed the cherub, and a sword flaming and turning to guard the way to the tree of life. Now the man knew his wife Eve, and she conceived and bore Cain, saying, I have produced a man with the help of the Lord. Next she bore his brother Abel. Now Abel was a keeper of sheep, and Cain a tiller of the ground. In the course of time, Cain brought to the Lord an offering of the fruit of the ground. And Abel, for his part, brought of the first slings of his flock, their fat portions. And the Lord had Jesus regard Christ, for Abel and his offering, <laughs> but for Cain is, in his offering he had no regard. Like we, we so Cain was very angry, and his countenance fell. The Lord um, said to Cain, Why are you angry, and You're why has your countenance fallen? Okay. If you do well, will you not be accepted? Oh, yeah, yeah, and if yeah, you do yeah. not do well, oh, sin is lurking at the door. Like it's its desire is for you, but, but you must master it. For, for nitric, Cain think, said to his brother Abel, Let us go out to the field. Yeah, and when they were in the field, bad. Cain rose up against yeah, his brother Abel, and killed him. Then the yeah, Lord said to Cain, bad. Where is your brother Abel? Um, he said, I do not know. I am, am I my brother's right keeper? Oh, shudder, 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 shudder. And the Lord said, What have you done? Listen, your brother's blood is crying out to me from the ground. And now you are cursed from the ground, which has opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. When you till the ground, it will no longer yield to you its strength. You will be a fugitive and a wanderer on the earth. Cain said to the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Today you have driven me away from the soil, and I shall be hidden from your face. I shall be a fugitive and a wanderer on the earth and anyone who meets me may kill me. Then the Lord said to him, Not so. Whoever kills Cain will suffer a sevenfold vengeance. And the Lord put a mark on Cain, so that no one who came upon him would kill him. Then Cain went away from the presence of the Lord, and settled in the land of Nod, east of Eden. Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bore Enoch, and he built a city, and named it Enoch after his son Enoch. <laughs> Could still Enoch be. was born Arad, and Arad was the father of Mahujael, well, and Mahujael like, was the father of Methusel, and Methusel was the father of Lamech. Lamech took two wives. The name of one was Ada, and the other Zillah. Ada bore Jabal. He was the ancestor of those who live in tents and of livestock. His brother's name was Jubal. He was the ancestor of all Robert. those who play the lyre and pipe. Zilla bore Tubal Cain, who made all kinds of bronze and iron tools. The sister of Tubal Cain was Nama. Uh, Lamech said to his wives, Ada and Zilla, hear my voice. You wives of Lamech, listen to what I say. I have killed a man for wounding me, a young man for striking me. If Cain is avenged sevenfold, truly Lamech seventy-sevenfold. Adam knew his wife again, and she bore a son and named him Seth. For she said, God has appointed me for another child instead of Abel, because Cain killed him. To Seth also a son was born, and he named him Enosh. At that time, people began to invoke the name of the Lord.
This is the list of the descendants of Adam. When God created humankind, he made them in the likeness of God. Male and female he created them, and he blessed them and named them humankind when they were created. When Adam had lived 130 years, he became the father of a son in his likeness, according to his image, and named him Seth. The days of Adam after became the father of Seth were 800 years, and he had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days that Adam lived were 930 years, and he died. When Seth had lived 105 years, he became the father of Enosh. Seth lived after the birth of Enosh 807 years, and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Seth were 912 years, and he died. When Enosh lived 90 years, he became the father of Kenan. Enosh lived after the birth of Kenan 815 years, and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Enosh were 905 years, and he died. When Kenan lived 70 years, he became the father of Mahalalel. Kenan lived after the birth of Mahalalel 840 years, and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Kenan were 910 years, and he died. When Mahalalel had lived 65 years, he became the father of Jared. Mahalalel lived after the birth of Jared 830 years, and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Mahalalel were 895 years, and he died. When Jared lived 162 years, he became the father of Enoch. Jared lived after the birth of Enoch 800 years, and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Jared were 962 years, and he died. When Enoch had lived 65 years, he became the father of Methuselah. Enoch walked with God after the birth of Methuselah 300 years, and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Enoch were 365 years. Yes. Enoch walked with God, and then he was no more, because God took him. When Methuselah had lived 187 years, he became the father of Lamech. Methuselah lived after the birth of Lamech 782 years, and had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of Methuselah were 969 years, and he died. When Lamech had lived 182 years, he became the father of a son. He named him Noah, saying, Out of the ground that the Lord has cursed this one shall bring us relief from our work and the toil of our hands. Lamech lived after the birth of Noah 595 years, and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Lamech were 777 years, and he died. After Noah was 500 years old, Noah became the father of Shem, Ham, and Japheth. When people began to multiply on the face of the ground, and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that they were fair, and they took wives for themselves of all that they chose. Then the Lord said, My spirit shall not abide in mortals forever, for they are flesh. Their days shall be 120 years. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days, and also afterward, when the sons of God went into the daughters of humans, who bore children to them. These were the heroes that were of old, right, warriors of renown. Yes, yeah, so that's, that's what I was thinking. The Lord saw that the wickedness of humankind was great in the earth, and that every inclination of the thoughts of their heads was only evil continually. And the Lord was sorry that he had made humankind of the earth, and it grieved him into his heart. So the Lord said, I will blot out from the earth the human beings I have created, people together with animals and creeping things and birds of the air, for I am sorry that I have made them. But Noah found favor in the sight of the Lord. I think we need to These are the descendants of Noah. Noah was a righteous man, blameless in his generation. Noah walked with God. And Noah had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Now the earth was corrupt in God's sight, and the earth was filled with violence. And God saw that the earth was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted its ways upon the earth. And God said to Noah, I have determined to make an end of all flesh. 
for the earth is filled with violence oh because what of them. Now I am going to destroy them yeah. along with the earth. No, it can be 225 somehow. Make yourself an arc of cypress wood. Make rooms in the arc and cover it inside and out with the pitch. Just like hunting. This is how you are to make it. The length of the arc, 300 <laughs> like, cubits. Just... Its width, 50 cubits. Like, and its I height, 30 cubits. Make a roof for the arc and yeah. finish it to a cubit above. And put the door of the arc in its side. Make it with lower, second, and third decks. For my part, I am going to bring a flood of waters on the earth to destroy from under wow, heaven all flesh in which is the breath of life. Everything that is on the earth shall die. But I will establish my covenant with you, and you shall become into the ark. You, your sons, your wife, and your sons' wives with you. And of every living thing, of all flesh, you shall bring two of every kind into the ark to keep them alive with you. They shall be male and female. Of the birds according to their kinds, no, the and of the animals according to their me. kinds. Of every creeping thing of the ground according to its kind, two of every kind shall come in to I you, to keep them alive. Okay. Uh, also take with you every kind of food that is eaten, lures? and squirrel, oh, and it shall serve as food for you and for them. Noah did this. He did all that God commanded him. Then the Lord said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and all your household. For I have seen that you alone are righteous before me in this generation. Take with you seven pairs of all clean animals, the male and its mate, and a pair of the animals that are not clean, the male and its mate, and seven pairs of the birds of the air also, male and female, to keep their kind alive on the face of all the earth. For in seven days I will send rain on the earth for forty days and forty nights, and every living thing that I have made I will blot out from the face of the ground. And Noah did all that the Lord had commanded him. Noah was six hundred years old when the flood of waters came on the earth. And Noah with his sons and his wife and his son's wives went into the ark to escape the waters of the flood of clean animals, and of the animals that are not clean, and of birds, and of everything that creeps on the ground, two and two, male and female, went into the ark with Noah, as God had commanded Noah. And after seven days the waters of the flood came on the earth, in the six hundredth year of Noah's life, in the second month, and on the seventeenth day of the month, on that day all the fountains of the great deep burst forth, and the windows of the heavens were opened. I mean, I'm basically the rain I'm fell on the earth 40 days and 40 nights. I, I, I think it's on the very same day, Noah with his sons, Shem and Ham and Japheth, and Noah's wife, and the three wives of his sons entered the ark. They and every wild animal of every kind, and all domestic animals of every kind, and every creeping thing that creeps on the earth, and every bird of every kind, every bird, every winged creature, they went into the ark with Noah, two and two of all flesh, in which there was the breath of life. And those that entered, male and female of all flesh, went in as God had commanded him, and the Lord shut him in. The flood continued forty days on the earth, and the waters increased, and bore up the ark, and it rose high above the earth. The waters swelled and increased greatly on the earth, and the ark floated on the face of the waters. The waters swelled so mightily on the earth that all the high mountains under the whole heaven were covered, and waters swelled above the mountains, covering them fifteen cubits deep. And all flesh died that moved on the earth. Dirds, domestic animals, wild animals, all swarming creatures that swarm on the earth, and all human beings. Everything on dry land in whose nostrils is the breath of life died. He blotted out every living thing that was on the face of the ground. Human beings and animals and creeping things and birds of the air, they were blotted out from the earth. Only Noah was left, and those that were with him on the ark. And the water was swelled on the earth for 150 days. But God remembered Noah, and all the wild animals, and all the domestic animals that were with him in the ark. And God made a wind blow over the earth, and the waters subsided. The fountains of the deep, and the windows of the heaven were closed. The rain from the heavens was restrained. 
<laughs> and the water is <laughs> like gradually like receded like from the earth. The At the end of 150 yeah, days, the, the waters had abated. Um, <laughs> and in the seventh month, on the 17th day of the month, <laughs> the ark came to rest on the mountains oh, of Ararat. The, the waters continued to abate until the 10th month. In the 10th month, on the first day of the month, the tops of the mountains appeared. At the end of 40 days, Noah opened the window to the ark that he had made and sent out the raven. And it went to and fro until the waters were dried up from the earth. Then he sent out the dove from him to see if the waters had subsided from the face of the ground. But the dove found no place to set its foot, and it returned to him the ark, for the waters were still on the face of the whole earth. So he put out his hand and took it and brought it into the ark with him. He waited another seven days, and again he sent out the dove from his ark. And the dove came back to him in the evening, and there in its beak was a freshly plucked olive leaf. So Noah knew that the waters had subsided from the earth. And he waited another seven days, and sent out the dove, and it did not return to him any more. In the 600th first year, in the first month, the first day of the month, the waters were dried up from the earth, and Noah removed the covering of the ark, and looked, and saw the face of the ground was drying. In the second month, on the 27th day of the month, the earth was dry. Then God said to Noah, Go out of the ark, you and your wife, and your son and your son's wives with you. Bring out with you every living thing that is with you of all flesh, birds and animals, and every creeping thing that creeps on the earth, so that they may abound on the earth, and be fruitful, and multiply on the earth. So Noah went out with his sons and his wife and his son's wives, and every animal, every creeping thing, and every bird. Everything that moves uh, yeah, yeah. on the earth follow, 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 follow. went out of the ark by families. Um, then Noah yeah. built an altar to the Lord and took of every clean planet. animal and of every clean bird okay, after and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And when the Lord yeah, smelled the, the pleasing sorry. odor, the oh, Lord uh, said in his heart, I will never yeah, again uh, curse the ground uh, because of humankind. Uh, yeah, we, we hold for the inclination of the human heart is evil from you. Yeah, Nor will I ever again destroy every living creature as I have done. As long as the earth endures, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night shall not cease. God blessed Noah and his sons, and said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth. The fear and dread of you shall rest on every animal of the earth, and on every bird of the air, on everything that creeps on the ground, and on all the fish of the sea, into your hand they are delivered. Every moving thing that lives shall be food for you, and just as I gave you the green plants, I give you everything. Only, you shall not eat flesh with its life, that is, its blood. For your own lifeblood, I will surely require a reckoning. From every animal, I will require it, and from human beings. Each one for the blood of another, I will require it, a reckoning for human life. Um, Whoever sheds the blood of a human, by a human shall that person's blood be shed. For in his own image God made humankind. And you, be fruitful and multiply, abound on the earth and multiply in it. Then God said to Noah and to his sons with him, As for me, I am establishing my covenant with you and your descendants after you. And with every living creature that is with you, the birds, the domestic animals, and every animal of the earth with you, as many as came out of the earth, I establish my covenant with you, that never again shall all flesh be cut off by waters of a flood, and never again shall there be a flood to destroy the earth. God said, this is a sign of the covenant that I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for all future generations. I have set my bow in the clouds, and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. When I bring clouds over the earth and bow is seen in the clouds, I will remember my covenant that is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh, and the water shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh. When the bow is in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is on earth. 
God said to Noah, this is a sign of a covenant that I had established really between me oh, and God. all flesh that is on the earth. Um, I the sons of Noah who yeah. went out of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Oh, Ham was the father of Canaan. I, I got the new color. These three were the sons of Noah. And from these, the whole earth was peopled. Oh, there's a second one? Noah, a man of the soil, was the first to plant a vineyard. He drank some of the wine and became drunk. And he un lay uncovered in his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brothers outside. Then Shem and Japheth took a garment, laid it yes. on both their shoulders, and walked backwards and covered the nakedness of their father. Their faces were turned away, and they did not see their father's nakedness. When Noah awoke from his wine and he knew what his youngest son had done to him, he said, Cursed be Canaan, lowest of slaves shall be his brothers. He also said, Blessed by God, my God be Shem. Um, and right, let Canaan be his slave. Yep. May God Police! make space for Japheth, ah, and let him uh -oh. live in the tents uh, of Shem, and let Canaan be his slave. After the flood, Noah lived 350 years. All the days of Noah were 950 years, and he died. Yeah, it's, it repellent is up. We're ready to start. These are the descendants of Noah's sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Children were born to them after the flood. The descendants of Japheth, Gomer, Magog, Madai, Javin, Tubal, Meshesh, and Tiras. The descendants of Gomer, Ashkenaz, Rifath, and Togarhama. The descendants of Javan, Elijah, Harshish, Kidim, and Rodanim. From these the coastland peoples spread. These yeah, are the descendants so of Japheth in their lands, pressure. with their own language, um, and by their families in the Nair nations. Nice. The descendants of Ham, Cush, Egypt, Put, and Canaan. The descendants of Cush, Seba, Havira, Sebta, Rama, and Sebteka. The descendants of Rama, Sheba, and Diden. Cush became the father of Nimrod, who was the first on earth to become a mighty warrior. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord, therefore it is said, like Nimrod, a mighty hunter before the Lord. The beginning of his kingdom was Babel, Erech, and Akkad, all of them in the land of Shinar. From that land he went into Assyria and built Nivineh, Rehoboth, Ir, Kala, and Rezin between Nivineh and Kala. That is the great city. Egypt became the father of Ludim, Anamim, Lebahim, Nephtuhim. I think you just wrote us last. Kanan became the father of Sido, his firstborn, and oh, Hath, yes. and the Jebusites, and the Amorites, and the Girgashites, the Hivites, the Archites, the Sinites, the Arvidites, the Zemurites, and the Hamathites. Afterwards, the families of the Canaanites spread abroad. There are shredders on the and the territory of the Canaanites extended from Sido and the direction of Gerar, as far as Gaza, in the direction of Sodom, Gomorrah, Adma, and Zeboim, as far as Lasha. These are descendants of Ham, by their families, their languages, their lands, and their nations. Shem also, the father of all the children of Obeah, the elder brother of Japheth, children were born. Oh, the descendants right. okay, of Shem, it, it is, Elon, it is real Asher, Aparshashad, Lud, and Aram. The descendants of Aram, Uz, Hu, Gether, and Mash. Arpashad became the father of Shalah, and Shalah became the father of Eber. To Eber were born two sons. The name of the one was Peleg, for his days in the earth was divided. And his brother's name was Joktan. Oh yeah, we do Drukhtan have to eliminate became the father of Amuldad, Shalaf, Hazamadeth, Jera, Hadaram, Uzal, Dikla, Obal, Ibimael, Sheba, Ophir, Havila, and Shobab. All these were the sons of Joktan. The territory in which they lived extended from Mesha in the directions of Sephar, the hill country of the east. These are the descendants of Shem, by their families, their languages, their lands, and their nations. 
These are the families of Noah's sons, according to the genealogies in their nations. And from these, the nations spread abroad on the earth after the flood. Sh shout out to the dinosaurs. Shout out all the raptors. Ah, 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 ah. A, shout out to you. And shout out the her the Texas search bug, the here the herexitarosaurus. Ah, 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 ah. A, cause you fucking sweet. I don't give a damn about your girl, she a freak. Shout out to my bed, cause it's keeping on the sheets. And shout out to the herbivorosaurus. Ah, ah, ah. And the viva habudo a viva habadubo ah da ding ding dang ding da la 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 la. Shout out to the dinosaurs. Shout out all the raptors. Ah 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 ah. Hey, shout out to you. And shout out the herex herexeterosaurus. Ah 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 ah. Hey, cause you fucking sweet. Shout out to the anime. I be watching Bleach. Shout out to the caterpillar who have a double waya haba be ba be ah and uh be ba haba to waba dubo or a blabbing bang bing bing wab ah 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 waba ah shout out to the dinosaurs shout out all the raptors ah 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 hey shout out to you and shout out the herex <laughs> Fuck me. Herexeterosaurus. Ah, 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 ah. You know more. Hey, cause you fucking sweet. I don't give a damn about your girl, she a freak. Shout out to my bed, cause it's keeping on the sheets. Like, even Veer is just no more. It's just like weakening the enemy. Now the whole earth had one language and the same words. And as they migrated from the east, they came upon a plain in the land of Shinar and settled there. And they said to each other, Come, let us make bricks, and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, and bitumen for mortar. And they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city, and a tower with its top in the heavens, and let us make a name for ourselves, otherwise we shall be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. The Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the mortals had built. And the Lord said, Look, they are one people, and they all have one language, and this is only the beginning of what they will do. Nothing that they propose to do will now be impossible for them. Come, let us go down and confuse their language there, so that they will not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there, over the face of all the earth, and they left off the building, the city. Therefore, it was called Babel, because the Lord confused the language oh, of the of the earth there. And from there, the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of all the earth. These are the descendants of Shem. When Shem was a hundred years old, he became the father of Arpachshad two years after the flood. And Shem lived after the birth of Arpachshad five hundred years and had other sons and daughters. When Arpachshad had lived 35 years, he became the father of Shilah. And Arpachshad lived after the birth of Shilah 403 years and had other sons and daughters. When Shilah had lived 30 years, he became the father of Eber. And Shilah lived after the birth of Eber 403 years and had other sons and daughters. When Eber had lived 34 years, he became the father of Peleg. And Eber lived after the birth of Peleg 430 years, and had other sons and daughters. When Peleg had lived 30 years, he became the father of Ryu. And Peleg lived after the birth of Ryu 209 years, and had other sons and daughters. When Ryu had lived 32 years, he became the father of Sereg. And Ryu lived after the birth of Sereg 207 years, and had other sons and daughters. When Sarag had lived 30 oh, years, he became the father of Nahor. Oh, no. And Sarag lived yeah. after the birth well, of Nahor right. 200 years, and had no, other that's, sons that's and daughters. Uh -oh. When Nahor had lived 29 uh, years, he became the father of Terah. And Nahor lived know. after the birth of Terah 119 years, and had other sons and daughters. Now these I'm, are the descendants of Terah. Terah was the father of Abram, Nahor, and Haran. And Haran was the father of Lot. 
I think it's probably a run died like for his father, Terra, in the lands of his birth, and we were of the Chaldeans. Abram and Nahor took wives. The name of Abram's wife was Sarai, and the name of Nahor's wife was Milka. She was the daughter of Haran, and the daughter of father of Milka and Iska. Now Sarai was barren, she had no child. Oh. Terah took his son Abram and his grandson Wait, Lot, that, son of Haran, and see. his daughter-in-law Sarai, um, and his son Abram's wife. Drops, and they yeah. went out together from Ur okay, of the Chaldeans to go into the land of the Canaan. But when they came to Haran, they settled there. The days of Terah were 205 years, and Terah died in Haran. Uh, now the Lord said to Abram, Go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation, and I will bless you and make your name great, so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and the ones who curses you I will curse. And in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So Abram went, as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him. Abram was seventy-five years old when he departed from Haran. Abram yeah. took his wife Sarai and his brother's son Lot and all the possessions that they had gathered and the persons whom they had acquired in Haran. Okay. And they set forth to go How to the land exactly of Canaan. When they uh, had come to the land of Canaan, oh, Abram passed the through the land to the, the place of Shechem, to the oak of Moreh. I am not poor. And at that time, Canaanites were in the land. I'm just gonna wait. See, then the Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your offspring, I will give this land. So he built an altar to the Lord who had appeared before him. From there he moved on to the hill country on the east of Bethel and pitched his tent, with Bethel on the west and I on the east. And there he built an altar to the Lord and invoked the name of the Lord. And Abram journeyed on by stages toward the Negev. Now there was a famine in the land. So Abram went down to Egypt to reside there as an alien, for the famine, famine was severe in the land. When he was about to enter Egypt, he said to his wife Sarai, I know well that you are a woman beautiful in appearance. And when the Egyptians see you, they will say, this is his wife, and they will kill me, but they will let you live. Say you are my sister, Wait, so that it may go well with me because of you, and that my life will maybe be spared on your account. Okay, that was, that is, okay, that was when Abram really entered Egypt, the Egyptians saw that the woman was very beautiful. When the officials of the Pharaoh saw her, they praised her to the Pharaoh, and the woman was taken to, to the Pharaoh's house. And for her sake he dealt with Abram. And he had sheep, oxen, male donkeys, and male and female slaves, female donkeys, and camels. But the Lord afflicted fit Pharaoh and his house with great plagues because of Sarai, Abram's wife. So Pharaoh called Abram and said, What is this you have done to me? Why did you not tell me that she was your wife? Why did you say she is my sister, so that I took her for my wife? Now then, here is your wife. Take her and be gone. And Pharaoh gave his men orders concerning him, and they sent him on the way with his wife. Oh and my God! The wave, 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 wave. So Abram went up from Egypt, he and his wife, and all that he had, and Lot with him, into the Negev. Now Abram was very rich in livestock, in silver, and in gold. He journeyed on by stages from the Negev as far as Bethel to the place where his tent had been at the beginning between Bethel and I, to the place where he had made an altar at the first. And there Abram called on the name of the Lord. Now Lot, who went with Abram, also had flocks and herds and tents, so that the land could not support both of them living together, for their possessions were so great that they could not live together. And there was strife between the herders of Abram's livestock and the herders of Lot's livestock. The At that time, the Canaanites and the Perizzites yeah. lived on the land. <laughs> then Abram said to Lot, Let there be no strife between you and me, and between your herders and my herders, for we are kindred. Is not the whole land before you? Separate yourself from me. If you take the left hand, then I will go to the right. Or if you take the right hand, then I will go to the left. Lot looked about him and saw that the plains of Jordan were well watered. Everywhere like the garden of the Lord, like the land uh -oh. of Egypt, in the direction of Zoar. This was before the Lord had destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. 
So Lot chose for himself all the plain of the Jordan, and Lot journeyed eastward, and thus they were separated from each other. Abram separated, settled in the land of Canaan, while Lot settled among the cities of the plain, and moved his tent as far as Sodom. Now the people of Sodom were wicked, great sinners against the Lord. The Lord said to Abram, after Lot had separated from him, Raise your eyes now. And look from the place yeah, where you yeah, are, man. northward and southward yeah, and eastward and westward. For all the land that you see, I will give to you and your offspring forever. I will make your offspring like the dust of the earth, so that if one can count the dust of the earth, your offspring can also be counted. Rise up, walk through the tent, and the breadth of the land, for I will give it to you. So Abram moved his tent, and came and settled by the oaks of Mamre, which are at Hebron, and there he built an altar to the Lord. In the days of King Amraphel of Shinar, King Ariok of Alasar, King Shedalaomer of Elam, and King Tidal of Goim, these kings made like war with King Bera of Sodom, King Bersha of Gomorrah, King Shinab of Adma, King Shemaber of Zebulim, and the King of Bela, that is Zoar. All these joined forces oh, in the valley of Sidim, that is the Dead Sea. Twelve years they had served Chedorlaomer, but in the thirteenth year they rebelled. In the fourteenth year, Chedorlaomer and the kings who were with him came and subdued the Rephaim in the Ashtaroth Karnaim, the Zuzim in Ham, the Emim in Shabbat Kiriathim, and the Horites in the hill country of Seir as far as El Poron on the edge of the wilderness. Uh, uh, then they turned back and came to the En Mishpat, yeah. that is the Kadesh, and subdued all of the countries of the um, Amalekites, cool. and also the Amorites who lived in the Hazazan Tamar. Like to go faster, you know? Then the king of Sodom, yeah. the king of Gomorrah, uh, the king of Adma, the king of Zeboim, and the king of no, Bela, I'm, that I'm is kidding. Zoar, went out, and they joined the battle in the valley of Sidim. With the king Shedolamer of Aram, king Tidal of Goim, king Amraphel of Shinar, and king Abriak of Elisar, four kings of five. Now the valley of Sodom was full of bitching and pits, and as the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah fled, some fell into them, and the rest fled to the hill country. So the enemy took all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah, and all their provisions, and went their way. They also took Lot, the son of Abram's brother, who lived in Sodom, and his goods, and departed. Then one who had escaped came and told Abram the Hebrew, who was living by the oaks of Mamre and the Amorite, brother of Eshkol and Shener, these were the allies of Abram. When Abram heard that his nephew had been taken captive, he led forth his trained men, born in his house, 318 of them, and went in pursuit as far as Dan. He divided his forces against them by eight, he and his servants, and routed them and pursued them to Hobah, north of Damascus. Then he brought back all the goods, and also brought back his nephew Lot with the, his goods, and the women and the people. After his return from the defeat of Shedolaramer and the kings who were with him, the king of Sodom went out to meet him at the Valley of Shavu, that is, the king's valley. And King Melchizedek of Salem brought out bread and wine. He was the priest of God Most High. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram by God Most High, maker of heaven and earth. And blessed be God Most High, who has delivered your enemies into your hand. And Abram gave him one tenth of everything. Then the king of Sodom said to Abram, Give me the persons, but take the goods for yourself. But Abram said to the king of Sodom, I have sworn to the Lord, God most high, maker of heaven and earth, that I would not take a thread or sandal bong or anything that is yours, so that you might not say, I have made Abram rich. I will take nothing but what the young men have eaten, and the share of the men who went with me, Aner, Eshkol, and Mamre. Let them take their share. The After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision. Do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield. Your reward shall be very great. But Abram said, O Lord God, what will you give me? For I continue childless, and the heir of my house is Eliezer of Damascus. And Abram said, You have given me no offspring, and so a slave born in my house is to be my heir. But the word of the Lord came to him. 
This man shall yeah, not be so. your heir. Nobody oh, but gonna, your own tissue shall be your heir. Oh, oh wait, you're right. He if brought him can, to, outside and said, look towards heaven and, and count the stars, if you are able to count them. Then he said to him, right, so, so shall your descendants be. And he believed the Lord, like and the Lord reckoned it to him as righteousness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he oh, said to I him, I am the Lord who brought you from Ur to the, of the Chaldeans, to give you this land to possess. But he said, O Lord God, how am I know that I shall possess it? He said to him, bring me a heifer of three years old, a female goat of three years old. <laughs> A ram three years old, a turtle dove, and a young pigeon. He brought him all these and cut them okay. in two, laying uh, we, each we half well over against the other, but he did not cut the birds in two. And when the uh, birds of prey right, came down on the carcass, yeah, yeah. Abram drove them away. As the oh, yeah, sun we, was we going down, up, 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 up. No, a deep yeah, sleep fell no, upon Abram, uh, and a deep and terrifying no. darkness descended upon him. No. No, then the Lord said to Abram, Know this for yeah, certain, that your offspring people. shall be aliens in a land that is not theirs, and shall yeah, be slaves the there, and they shall be oppressed for oh, 400 okay. years. Okay. But I will Why? bring judgment I on the nation that they serve, <laughs> and afterwards they shall oh, come out with great possessions. Yeah. As for yourself, they you shall go to your ancestors in peace. You shall be buried in a good old age, and they shall come back oh, here God, in the fourth generation, for the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet complete. When the sun had gone down and it was dark, a smoking fire pot and a flaming torch passed between those pieces. We're, we're still like and on that day, the Lord made a covenant with Abram, saying, To your descendants I give this land, from the river of Egypt to the great river, the river Euphrates, the land of the Kenites, the, the Kenizzites, the Cadmonites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, and the Rephaim, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Gigarshites, and the Jebusites. What? Now Sarai, Abram's Sarai wife, bore him no children. She had an Egyptian slave girl whose name was Hagar. And Sarai said to Abram, You see that the Lord has prevented me from bearing children. Go into my slave girl. It may be that I shall obtain children by her. And Abram listened to the voice of Sarai. So, yeah. after what? Abram had now lived ten years in the land of oh, Canaan, Sarai, Abram's uh, wife, I took Hagar the Egyptian, her slave right. girl, and gave her to the husband, Abram, mean? as a wife. He I'm went sure. into Hagar, and she conceived, uh, and when she saw that she had conceived, she looked in contempt on her mistress. No, 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 then Sarai no. said to Abram, Tragic. May the wrong done to oh, me shit. be on you. I gave okay. my slave girl to your embrace, and when she saw she had conceived, she looked on me with contempt. May the Lord judge between you and me. But Abram said to Sarai, Your slave girl is in your power. Do to her as you please. Okay. Well, then Sarai dealt harshly with her, and she ran away from her. The angel of the Lord found her by a spring of water in the wilderness, the spring on the way to Shur. And he said, Hagar, slave girl of Sarai, where have you come you from, and where are you going? Okay. He said, yeah, I am running away from my mistress Sarai. The angel of the Lord yeah. said to her, Return to your mistress, yeah, and submit to her. Honestly, the angel of the Lord also said to her, I will so greatly uh, multiply your offspring that they cannot be counted for multitude. And the angel of the Lord said to her, Now you have conceived, and shall bear a son. You shall call him Ishmael, for the Lord has given heed to your affliction. He shall be a wild ass of a man, with his hand against everyone, and everyone's hand against him, and he shall live at odds with his kin. So she named the Lord who spoke to her, You are Elroy. For she said, Have I really seen God and remained alive after seeing him? Therefore, the and well was called Bir Lahai Roy. It lies between Kadash and Bered. Hagar bore Ad Abram a son, and Abram named his son, whom Hagar bore Ishmael. Abram was 86 years old when Hagar bore Ishmael. When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, I am God Almighty, walk before me and be blameless. And I will make my covenant between me and you, and will make you exceedingly numerous. Then Abram fell on his face, and God said to him, As for me, this is my covenant with you. 
You shall be the ancestor of a multitude of nations. No longer shall your name be Abram, but your name shall be Abraham, for I have made you ancestor of a multitude of nations. I will make you exceedingly fruitful, and I will make nations of you, and kings shall come from you. I will establish my covenant between me and you, and your offspring after you throughout their generations for right, everlasting like so crazy to be God to you and to your offspring after you and I will give to you yeah. and your offspring Probably. after you the land where you are now an alien in the land of Canaan for a perpetual holding and I will be their God God said to Abraham as for you you shall keep my covenant you and your offspring after you throughout their generations this is my covenant, which you shall keep between me and you and your offspring after yeah, it also doesn't matter if it's Every male among you shall be circumcised. You shall circumcise the flesh of their foreskins, and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and you. Throughout your generations, every male among you shall be circumcised when he is eight days old, including the slave born in your house, and the one bow with your money from any foreigner who is not of your offspring. Both the slave born in your house and the one bought with your money must be circumcised. So shall my covenant be in your flesh, an everlasting covenant. Any circumcised male who is not circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin shall be cut off from his people. He has broken my covenant. God said to Abraham, As for Sarah, your wife, you shall not call her Sarai, but Sarah shall be her name. I will bless her, and moreover, I will give you a son by her. I will bless her, and she shall give rise to nations. Kings of people shall come from her. Then Abraham fell on his face and laughed, and said to himself, Can a child be born to a man who is a hundred years old? Can Sarah, who is ninety years old, bear a child? And Abraham said to God, Oh, that Ishmael may live in your sight. God said, No, but your wife Sarah shall bear you a son, and you shall name him Isaac. I will establish my covenant with him as an everlasting covenant for his offspring after him. As for Ishmael, I have heard you. I will bless him and make him fruitful and exceedingly numerous. He shall be the father of twelve princes, and I will make him a great nation. But my covenant I will establish with Isaac, like whom Sarah will bear you, to you at this season <laughs> next year. And when he had finished talking with him, God oh. went up from Abraham. Then no Abraham took his son Ishmael and all the slaves born in his house or bought with oh, his money, every male among the men of Abraham's house. Lot. And he circumcised the flesh of their foreskins that very day, as God had yeah, said to him. Abraham was 99 years old when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. And his son Ishmael was 13 years old when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. That very day, Abraham and his son Ishmael were circumcised, and all the men of his house, slaves born in the house, and those bought with money from a foreigner, were circumcised with him. We 